Hello everyone, Maurice, and welcome to Tings Invest. Let's talk about investing, finance, fresh development. So today's video, 80 times only. The investment on the top of today will be Ethereum ticket ETH. First, just want to say happy Sunday, everybody. Hope everyone had a great weekend so far. In respect to Ethereum as of this morning, as I'm recording around 8 a.m. on Eastern time right now, it's kind of trading around like the $2,327, up about 5% so far. Ever since that pump that we had yesterday, about 4.5% stem from that extremely bullish article that came out directly from JP Morgan on their proposal on eyeing the Ethereum staking as an amazing revenue generation opportunity going forward. They expect that currently, with respect to Ethereum staking, is at the valuation around $9 billion at the moment that they expect to grow in the next two years to about $20 billion, and by 2025 to somewhere around $40 billion. So definitely massive growth, massive utilization and adoption for Ethereum specifically. Obviously, with this macro catalyst drove Ethereum to go upward from here. And with respect to Sunday, about 10 hours ago, um, you know, depending on the morning or evening time, and depending on your time zone internationally, Cointelegraph released an, another article that's highly bullish on depicting around a single entity, a single large investor, a whale if you may. It could even either be a, a personal investor or it could be an institutional investor for being responsible for depositing at least 258,000 Ethereum in a valuation around 541.8 million at the price point around $2,100 per Ethereum into the Ethereum 2.0 deposit contracts from 133 different addresses. And the time durations of this purchase or the spread of this purchase durate somewhere around like June 24th. It's basically two Thursdays ago to July 1st, which was exactly last Thursday. So definitely a lot of fishy activities going on right now. Someone definitely is trying to to manipulate the market in a way and definitely saw an opportune time to purchase Ethereum at the level of identifications of the resistance level that we have identified in the previous technical analysis, the $2,150 level, which is the comparable level that this single entity decided to purchase on. So with respect to these like consecutive positive news that we've had so far, I'm gonna go through a technical analysis again to see how much of a risk profile do we see right now? How should we be maneuvering these murky water if you may, by dollar cost averaging wisely and control your risk going forward. So stay tuned, stick around, let's make some money. All right, so moving on to the technical analysis for Ethereum ticket ETH. I'm recording us off 8.15 a.m. on the Eastern time right now. And first, just want to say happy July 4th to all the U.S. folks that are listening in today. Really appreciate you and hope you guys are staying safe and be be smart you know i know there's a lot of firework and a lot of accidents going on uh, around these time of the year so definitely be careful out there with respect to ethereum is currently trading around like the two thousand three hundred twenty four dollars up about 5.15 percent so far and with respect to the subsequent positive media affectation that we had yesterday with respect to the jp morgan report that came out it subsequently drove some surge you can see that on the third we had that green candle but this is basically adjusted you know with respect to you know, the weekend affectation at the same time, which is the reason why the green candle, despite the, <clears throat> excuse me, a very positive bullish news, you know, and more of a macro spectrum, also at the same time internationally, <clears throat> this should have drove the price point for Ethereum to be a lot higher than my expectation. This should have drove at least to the 2000. 450 or 2350 yesterday but because yesterday was a weekend affectation we have to be a walk you know be mindful that some people might not be as uh, studious as we are right and subsequently uh just the buying pressure across the board was not as uh prominent as we expected or based on my personal expectation right because the news was really really positive yesterday and with respect to today on sunday on july 4th we got another news right but i would say this news is relatively old news that kind of baked into the market catalyst already with respect to the depictions around that half a billion dollar purchase from single entity right one big whale decide to purchase in durations between on june 24 basically two thursday ago, thursdays ago and last thursday right so the duration occur there and i i think you could kind of see that you know in combinations with um, obviously the artificial media affectation that i kind of gave you guys a heads up on in my previous videos right that with respect to the trends that you see here 
Um, I think the durations of what the article depicted makes sense, but obviously with a combination of both, you know, people buying on the news, but at the same time, corporate investors and obviously the well that's baked into the equation, which is the reason why you see some of the surge that you see here, right? But it's hard for us to detect specifically what time frame it is, but we know that this whale, you know, purchased on an average cost around $2,100, right? And the duration was between the 24th all the way to the 1st. So I think this makes sense, right? And the amount is of half a billion. So it's not like a substantial amount in comparison to the overall market, but definitely, definitely have some influential power in play, right? So definitely fishy going on. Um, I think, again, this is definitely old news that try to, I guess, the media affectation from Cointelegraph or... You know, we need to understand further around the incentive of this publication company and what ties to this single entity investor, right? Because right now there's a lot of percolations of consecutive positive news ahead of the summit right now. Um, so it's building a lot of exposure in a more of a positive spectrum, right? But remember, these news on old news, and I mean, just like look at the time frame, right? It durates from 24th all the way to the 1st. He bought it at around two thousand one hundred dollars, or she did. It, it it could be he or she, it, or it could be a corporation. I don't know what that specific entity is, right? Based on the risk profile right now, how it's being manipulated right now, how consecutive is it so far? You know, we've been having basically five consecutive positive news so far ever since the five consecutive negative news ever since the FOMC meeting, right? And then you saw the James Buller article, and then you saw the the Chinese crackdown, like that happened consecutively, right? But now you see all these positive consecutive news ahead of the summit. And I'm not saying the summit is like a key market catalyst. But I'm just saying the timing is too coincidental, right? For us to basically match back to the time frame that we had here, right? So I think the risk is definitely increasing around right just on a macro level, how the how artificial the story seems like at the moment, right? And I think the chart really tells you this right now. You can see the MACD, we extremely stretch right now, right? And this confirms with the RSI. We are highly overbought right now. People have been asking me, you know, across multiple different uh, videos, uh, is it a good time to buy right now because it's 2,300 right now? Is it a good time to buy right now? Is it 2,250 right now? We are in the business of risk mitigation. And based on the risk profile right now, I think the risk is definitely increasing dramatically because of these five consecutive positive media affectation. If you think about this, like if you are in a casino, right? What are the odds that you get? Like, let's say you're playing uh, roulette, right? And you bet on red or you bet on black, right? And you see that it's been red consecutively or black consecutively for the last five times, right? I think as the time goes on, just based on pure math, statistically, the probability of you continue to hit red consecutive for the six times in the future Will, will, you know, marginally decrease going forward. That's just based on pure statistics, right? And I think that's how it's being played out right now, right? So how do you risk mitigate going forward, right? I think the $2,325 is a good level um, that if we leap up, we'll probably leap up to the 3, uh, 2350 and the next level will be 2450 So if you buy it now, I don't, you know, that's okay if you want to. But I believe there's more opportune time for us to buy later. But ultimately, long term wise, this is going to be a, a very minimal number in the future, like five years from now, right? So I don't mind like dollar cost averaging if this is really something you feel comfortable doing. But for me, right, again, I have 50 Ethereum right now. I'm not going to buy at this level. I don't want to chase the pump. I'll wait until the normalization to come because we are highly overbought right now. So ideally, I would look for somewhere around like the 2,150 because that's a level of highly substantive, right? And if you take a look at the current level, 2,350, and you look at this historically, we have tested basically a couple of times, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then do we see anything else? I think at the 2,350, 50 there is some substantiveness so we might actually stay around this level because we did crack through the two done the 2250 and we kind of leap up so we kind of have to test that level so we to watch this level if we break above the 2350 we are leaping up to 2450 definitely because that's the next next uh step up we do not ever stay between the walls right again like i told you in previous videos right again buy it now if you buy it for a long-term perspective, 
or if you want more of a short-term swing trade perspective, 2,250, 2,150, that's a more optimal level. And I think we should be actually seeing that after the summit that's going to happen a week out from now. It's that classic buy the rumor, sell the news thing. And I think we are seeing that very artificially right now we are seeing a lot of media affectation try to percolate the anticipation you know but not obviously directly adjacently and these are like the pseudo news affectation that's trying to jerk up the market to a point is a reason why we had these sell-offs historically right the, the five consecutive negative media affectation and then the whale like i said 2150 bought in around that level which is the reason why you see these green candles here and then people start chasing in and by the time you chase in it will sell it's classic influential play so risk is definitely increasing so be mindful out there and to do that is to mitigate by dca at the comparable logical level and not buy on the pump on or just based on emotions if you may right, just to recap all the numbers that we talked about in the technical analysis uh i think the 2250 dollars level is a more substantive level than the 2350 despite both level are relatively substantive to be honest with you by long term that's fine you want to hold it for the next five years that's a great price point to get into because we are still at a discount if you think about this in a long-term perspective just based on the research and the report that jp morgan has depicted for us right so logically macro wise it should get us there right in terms of a more of attractive level i think 2150 that's my sweet appetite again right that's the level we've tested 17 times historically right so would i chase the pump no i would not chase the pump i don't advise doing so because this is a classic influential market play that we're seeing right now. And this is mainly driven by the whales and they have the most market power. So buying it now would be a relatively late uh, proposition. You know, you'll probably lose money because uh, the last thing you want it to be is to be doing something you've done a couple of weeks or a couple of months ago, right? With respect to when we hit that all time high, that 4,000, we expect that, oh, it's going to reach a hundred or uh, $10,000 by, by like July or something like that, something crazy, right? But if you knew about the technical analysis you knew that by that point the rsi was already extremely inflated it was all baked you know kind of adjusted based on emotions rather than purely supply and demand dynamics and normal cadence right so right now i think you know the um supply and demand dynamics is forming you know relatively a, an outlier in a more of a preliminary perspective so definitely watch out for it. the risk is definitely increasing as we go on and i'm surprised how artificial the news sounds like right now you know to be honest with you um and it's all a, a, a curation of um influencing people's feelings to get to uh, the ideal dollar cost average level that they look for than the institutional you know investors buy in right Again, the steel level two thousand fifty dollars. Uh, that's the level I love, you know. But uh, I think we might get there maybe two weeks out after the summit happens. You know, we kind of go through the oscillation. And with respect to corporate adoption, two hundred percent, nine thousand eight hundred, four point four times if you buy in at the two thousand two hundred fifty dollars level. All right, so that's it for today. With respect to my technical analysis on the Ethereum ticket ETH. Hope you guys all have a great July fourth in the U.S. By the way, and um, really look forward to uh, spending some time with my family and friends today. Later today, uh, have a relatively uh, productive day ahead of me. Uh, but stay safe and don't do anything stupid. Uh, and I I hope to see you guys again after. Uh, so don't be reckless and try to don't drink too much and. Uh, try to still be cautious at the same time if you have any questions about what we talked about today in the technical analysis just feel free to reach out to me um, i'm relatively responsive and uh, please hit the like button subscribe button, and also the bell notification and watch out for the next video coming up take care bye